So it's fixed, it's done, but it's shaky, baby. Um, definitely, uh, you know, uh, they last a long time, but I know that the final version it's without scoops, you know. So it's okay. It's just I'm 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 really surprised of this, you know. You wake up, you feel like, oh shit, I need to go out. That leads me to come here to find out that I broke a screw last night and I perform tonight, like before I take my nap. And it was weird, the feeling that I have. Of course, one screw was missing, you know? Uh, like I say it's dangerous, it's just because it's loose. So it's not uh, like uh, it's not like it's supposed to, you know? So the performance that I did before, like it's amazing what I just did. I did three combo move in a row, I did really powerful moves. Now it's done and I, I really like I need to work to put the, 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 the piece that was still in, I need to work it uh, like the last time when the other screws, the other screw break in Sekanuk. In the skate park of Sekanuk, I break a screw and to, to put it out, it take a while, you know, like uh, it doesn't go like, uh, whoop, it's gone. Like, no, 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 it take like a, uh, 10 minutes to put the, the small piece out and not even one minute to screw back the new screw in. So this is the lesson of this full moon that is coming up. Is that, you know, you need to have faith that everything is supposed to happen and you know what? Like, I need to have faith that it was an urgency to come here. And I found out, and now all this is fixed. And it's funny because my cell phone, the battery, died last night. And last night, I look at in my house and I say, I have a yellow battery. Where is that? I didn't. Not, I did not put this battery in the garbage. But where it is? There it is. You know what? You know where it was? In my toolbox in the car. I leave it there because if something happened to my cell phone, I have this one in backup. But this is the one that did not work before so maybe maybe it still doesn't work but I don't know that but if I keep it it's because it's supposed to be a backup so I, I don't have my phone on me when I gonna go back home I gonna check but anyway even if it work I gonna have a, 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 a spare battery if something happened so, you know, that's the lesson of this full moon. You need to have spare. You know, you need to not play that safe. You know, like uh, take it for granted. Like I take these screws for granted. I think they're gonna last forever and I can throw it and throw it and throw it. And eventually they break. Because deep inside of me, I know that these screws it's only temporary. But when one break, I'm, I'm still surprised. You know? So that's what we need to work on. Now, now we are aware of that, like before this full moon, but we need to apply this in every area of our life. You know, not taking things for granted and don't wait that it break.
You know, that's why I am pushing my limits and I do the best I can and you know, that's why you know there is so much resistance where I am right now because I need to go. I need to have my own house because when I have my own house, there is no resistance. Everything is fluid. Everything is, you know? So, you know, I understand all the process that I, I went through this year. Nine months, you know, of going back living with my parents when I am 100% vegan and they are the opposite. So I need to see how I was before that I was 100% vegan. How I was before when I was, you know, and there is so many reasons why. There is not just that, but it's, it's so complex. It's so many things. But anyway, the important is that I understand that not taking things for granted and having more than one battery especially when you do those kind of things you know especially when you pursue your dream you need more than one battery. You need backup screws. If you, like, now I know it's been two screws that break. I know that they got, the other one's gonna break as well, but you know, don't wait that they all break. Like, get things fixed, you know? Get things fixed because you are ready, you can do it, and you know, so that, that's what it is right now. So now, it's because it's cold outside and I, I went to swim today. I swim into the water of, of the waterfall of Saint Agathe de Mont. But imagine, now it's fucking cold. Like I would like to have some gloves. Oh yeah, I gotta go get some gloves. I'll be right back. Last year, at that time of the year, I was living in paradise, in the new earth rising, next to the waterfall, in Seyrog de la Chiga. And life was awesome. Life was so awesome, because living in Seyrog de la Chiga, it was my... my uh, it was my way out in 2018. Like I was, I, I made it. I have like $500 in my pocket. That's the only thing I have. And I say leap of faith. So I, in, in, I, I invested into that house. And then I have this opportunity. No, nope. no. Nope. I have already, I have already starting to work. And I knew deep inside of me that I need to make a move. But you know what? It's funny because look at my situation now. It's, it's been more than a month that I have this new opportunity, this BMI thing. And like, I understand now that all the, everything what take place, you know? But I know that I, life gonna cut some certain supplement that I take so I can afford to live there in the house. So like, like, I, I realize that I take so many things that I don't need recovery. Like, it's, it's not like if I, I, I run 20 kilometers or 15 kilometers. I don't run 15 kilometers. It's like between 5 and 13, let's say. 
and the winter it's warm. But I don't like I, I start running without recovery. It's just that I need to try it. And at that time I was so tense in my body that I need recovery. But I loosen up now and I don't need recovery anymore. So this is like 50 bucks out of my uh, bucket list, you know, that I, I need to afford month after month. Like, you know, it's, it's been so long that I've been doing this that I need to break free of this. But it, it was serving me, you know? But life is trying to show me that where I'm going now, in my house, things gonna be different. It's not gonna be the same. And it's gonna be better than what I am doing now. It's just because for me, what I am doing now, this is the best I can do in that situation. Adaptation. You know what? Like I realized like with the jacket and the the glove and everything, like it's like it's changed. Like I was doing this topless before. I cannot do topless this now. And like I see that like my jacket and everything like affect my performance. Like I'm so used to make it with no shirt on that now with jacket and everything it's but let's keep in mind that we are right now September 13, 2019. The day of the full moon. So I know that it was so important that I come here because there is like, I need to preach what I understand. Oh, and by the way, I've been doing this, preaching what I understand to the camera for a year and even more but let, let's say more clearly and to free myself i say i do this to free myself but you know what this is like a, a energy update of the full moon the new moon and every day that i've been doing it's just i do it my way i don't do it like other uh, astrologers Astronomer, astrologer, anyway. I do it like me, you know, like I am. If you don't like it, that's okay. You can go check out their channel. There is so many channels out there. But me, that's how I express myself. That's how I say how it is and what we need to understand and what we need to work on. That's what it is. So it's adaptation, not take things for granted, and understand that, yes, this, you know, it was serving me, and it's serving me right now, but like in a week or two, things can change, and I'm gonna have my house, and it's gonna be a different thing, but it's gonna be better, but I need to adapt, you know? Like, when I'm going to have my house, it's going to be not here. It's going to be far, far away from here. So I don't going to come here in the middle of the night and do this. It's going to be something else. But it's advancement. You know, it's, it, that's okay. Like, now...
make so much strength. to do this my god that was epic three combo move in a row shake a clip style oh yes definitely it's not easy you know going from hot to really cold tonight like I need to wash my car I don't I don't feel to wash my car it's too cold for real so I don't gonna wash it I need to respect myself it's too cold like when I wash my car I, I don't have glove you know so and I need to put water on my hand and everything so I, I don't know how, what is the temperature right now but it's cold it's cold, for real. So uh, definitely like uh, the equinox, you know, like on that full moon, poof. Friday the 13th, full moon in Pisces. Today going from hot, climbing the biggest mountain out there to perform with a missing screw wake up of my nap and figure out that I need to come here discover that the screws and all the story and now I just did three combo move in a row it's really powerful and I'm just get started definitely I want to do more You know what? what? What I love, my way, what I love about and what you should love about is that I've been working my ass off to make this. This is my invention. It's my creation. It's not the sport. The sport, I did not invent the sport. But I invent this pair, my style, my way came out from my own imagination so I've been building me since 2014 with this sport and all this lead me to be 100% vegan right now and I'm going plant based I've been already achieving so many dreams so you know if you wanna if you wanna a real man that is making it right now this is me this is real this is truth building strength for so long and that was a powerful two combo move by the way uh, but uh, this sport is the way I do it my style it's all about you know using a lot of strength and lots of playing with gravity but it's all about make it turn as fast as I can as much as I can and more fluid as I can always so it takes a lot of strength a lot of uh, yes I am in control but yes I need to let go of control because it, control don't gonna make me land on it I need to control my action 
and I, got, I need to let it loose to land on it. And everything happened in like a second, you know? So, life is like this. It's complex, you know? That's why I'm doing this sport because, and that's why I invent my style, is because this performed my craft to success in life. just happened whoa like that was magic oh that was so powerful oh I was not expecting to land on that one my god life really surprised me there oh my god that was so epic the fire is burning and I need to use this at my advantage. That's why I'm here. That's why I do this. Shake things up, you know? It's just not working. It's not working. Even how much I try to perfect, to perfect, and to try to make it, it's not working. It's not because I don't want to. It's just because I'm not supposed to make it. That's it. And normally, when I don't make it, it's because it's too intense inside of me. It's too intense, the feeling, it's too intense. It's like when I try to do too much. When I try to do too much, it's too intense and I'm not able to let go. Like I am in control, I, I do things perfectly, but I hold on and I miss. That's the thing. That's the number one problem on earth. This is, you know, and, and nobody work on that because it's complex. Like people are not, they, 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 nobody teach them to let go. my limit right now god damn sometimes 
just too much, too intense, not able to let go. It's just too much, too much. Like I try to do, like I, I try to raise the bar too much. Like and it's, I, I'm not there yet. I'm not able to handle that. That's why I scream. Because it's too intense inside. I cannot handle this. It's too much. But if I try to do something like normal, I can, you know? Enough, I need to stop. You know, I need to stop. I take off my glove. Now I'm riding and I'm saying, fuck, my hand is cold. Like, okay, fuck that. <laughs> okay, enough. You know, I don't care that you you see me snap like that because you know how many times I snap when I perform? My God, you know, it, doesn't, it does not happen all the time. But at a certain point, I snap because it's too intense, you know, and that's okay. You know, so many people don't snap. They don't snap in life. They all, they take it in, they take it in, they take it in. And that's why their life stay the way it is because they don't snap. They don't get enough, you know, like, like I, I reach my limit and I say enough is enough. Even if I try to play small, you see, I don't have the satisfaction because I try to play small. It doesn't work because I'm not that at that level anymore. I'm at the level that I it need to spin like an infinite amount of time in the air and I need to play with the, like a, a time traveling and everything, you know. But if I try to make it normal, it's not working. You know, like I, when I try to play safe, it's not working. So anyway, I'm done now. And, uh, I, I, you know, it's eating me inside to say, oh, I, I'm going to go because of this, because of that. But it's extreme right now, okay? Like it's cold. <laughs> so I'm going to get warm now. I'm going to go into a, a cozy place because, hey, it's not, it's not like if I did not train. I train. Like, I gotta train again. You see how hard it is? Like, I'm stubborn. You know? I don't wanna let, because, you know, I understand that we live in a world that if you're not at your best, you are nothing. You know, so I know that I have so much power inside of me that I can do this for hours and hours. So I need to know my limit. But it's a hard thing to do when you try to build an empire, you know, in the world of sheep. Oh, and that was a height bank hit with one foot high. Chicken Pow! And that's what I'm talking about. You know, that's, that free me. This move free me. And it's good that I did not give up. I snap, I say, okay, okay, it's enough, it's enough. But deep inside of me, like the time I was snapping, I was understanding that Maybe I get one more move. Maybe I don't need to make a combo. Maybe I just need to make one epic move to make a big final. And that's what I did. And for real, 
It's like when I make the move there and I say I cannot believe that this happened. Well, it's the same thing. Like that was pure magic that I land on it. And I'm done now. I hope that this, I say I hope, but I know that if you listen this till the end, you understand what I'm talking about. The process that you need to go through, well, for me it's this, you maybe it's a badminton or I don't know what you do in life, but you know, you need to figure it out. That there is like a, this tension inside of you that you need to free yourself. And when you do, the best way of your ability, you are able to land on it with laser focus like you see like whatever take place external this does not concern me the time i am doing this so whatever you do in life you need to shut all of this you need to shut all of this and focus on what make your heart beat, why you are living on planet earth, what is your purpose and if you don't know, well, you need to try some stuff. Like me, I tried this sport in 2014, yeah, and well, it lead me to do these crazy, these crazy talk and these crazy moves and it's okay because to make your dream, you're gonna need to be crazy in the world where people are sheep but it's just because they all pile up their inner their their emotion and distraction and all in the story of others and everything and they don't free themselves from all this crap all this crap so that's why it's so important to do it to do it shikikile style now i'm done